Oh, 100% got it. You don't think it'll damage it? No, just keep her, keep her pinned. Do you think it'll really damage it? <laughs> no, it won't damage it. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> 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 Do your test. Let's go, bad chest. Oh, man, he's so nervous. thinking about it what could go wrong what could go wrong you got it we nailed it get that squirt over this pump <laughs> times that you are going to see this little shop. Not one of the last times you see this little 240 that is now fixed because Ty welded in a bar under here because these freaking steering boxes kept breaking or these front control arm boxes. Look at that. She's all sturdied up now. Here's the situation guys. This shop is about up. Our lease ends on July 31st. So roughly a month from now, we have to have everything out of this. Well, I've been working on building a shop at the Freedom Factory for like the last year, but that has not come to fruition because of so many obstacles with planning and zoning and a site plan and then getting materials for a building. So I hope one day we will have a shop at the Freedom Factory. But for now, I've done the next best thing, which is purchasing a shop near the Freedom Factory, which you guys will see sooner and later. We have, you know, quite a bit of junk, and this is only a roughly 2,000 square foot shop that we've been working out of for, uh, what, two years now I've had this side? And uh, it's done really good. It's served us great. We've had, you know, a lot of really good times here, but we also pay a bunch of money in just this lease and then we also pay money on the lease that we have over at Jeremy's side. And all of that rent money we're paying could have been going to, you know, paying off a shop that we own. And it's just kind of been frustrating for me. So finally, we're not renewing our lease and we are actually moving out and moving down to Bradenton right by our houses because we drive two hours a day, an hour to work and an hour home every single day. That takes a lot of time. What the heck are you doing, James? Cleaning parts. Cleaning parts on our parts cleaner? Yeah, this is my parts cleaner. We're getting the uh, Nova geared up because we're going to streetcar takeover Charlotte this weekend. So we're putting the motor in that and we're taking the El Camino and the Dale truck. Look at this sad Leroy, dude. A sad, sad Leroy just waiting to be fixed. So we got some parts on the way. You guys just hang tight. Leroy will be back. We haven't really even got to test these turbos out. Oh, dude, we can't forget about the golf cart. Dude. The golf cart has just been resting in the corner. All right, so things we have to move in this shop is pretty simple. Well, we got a big old crate engine over there. We got another crate engine over there, that racking, some toolboxes, you know, just, yeah, various tools. Obviously we got to bring down, kill a bee, but we don't have all that much stuff over here. We're gonna take you next door though. We do have a whole bunch of crap over there. That's gonna be a big project to move all that. I know, dude. Show you the new throttle body. New everything. New Motion Raceworks Icon throttle body on this unit with the billet hard 90 attachment you can get, motionraceworks.com. And we got obviously the Cletus valve covers had to upgrade Rocky a little bit with the catch can, the whole nine. But let's not get too deep into that. Let's show them some of these, some of this junk we have to move. We've been collecting junk here for the last three and a half years. The most important tool we gotta move is the shyster. Yeah, we got the shyster we gotta move. We got the subframe for the Mustang we gotta sell. We got in here just a, Toast hood, bunch of tires, wheels, things like that. Some colored tires, some nittos. 
wheelie bar for the golf cart, more wheels, tank, a jet engine. That is just the uh, casing for a jet engine, some fuel, some more wheels, empty a little dirt drums, bike. Empty drums. A lot of empty drums. This isn't too bad. This is about half a trailer load. Let me show you where we have a ton of crap. Oh, back here, dude. So the tracker, dude, officially has to be moving or sold or something. If somebody wants this thing, we'll sell it for like a thousand bucks. Doesn't run. Did run until we drove it into a pond and it's been sitting ever Will since. It run? Absolutely. With what? I don't know. Okay, good. See, that's good information. <laughs> Sentra does run, dude. That'll be an easy move. The old El Camino body does not run. But I think I want to do something with this. I don't think I want to just get rid of that. So the tracker is the first thing for sale right now. We got a whole front clip and a whole body. Yeah, let's bolt it together. Make something funny make out of it. it. A, like it's doing a wheelie out of your pond or in your pond. Yeah, that'd be cool. We don't really have anything over here. Most of our stuff has migrated over to that side. But we'll walk over because we have the lift over here, which the lift has to be moved. Yeah, and then our two ramps. lifts. Oh, yep, these are our ramps for the wedge. The only thing that's over here still is neighbor's OG hood. Oh, neighbor's hood, dude. Yeah, we don't need that where we're going. Back over. There it is. <laughs> there it is. So this is a little office area. We haven't been here for a week or so. But what we got in yonder, this is... What? Ruby's OG seats, dude. Oh yeah, Ruby seats. We'll grab those. C7 seat. And the C7 seat. Your or your driver's seat at a Donnie. Yeah. So we got some seats in there. Uh, none we of this, this stuff is block. ours. That's neighbor's OG short block. That With the bent rod. Around. Yeah. <laughs> so not too much over here. Really, the only stuff that's ours is our these racks, that pallet, this table. This stuff's Jeremy's. Bumpers, Jeremy's the cart. These carts are Jeremy's. The oil things, Jeremy's. We got the auto stacker though. We got to dig that out. We definitely have to dig that out and move it so we can yeah. store cars stacked up. The AC things don't work. Those have just died via the rough Florida air, the humid Florida air. And then we have this Ben Pack lift that we have to move. Uh, we will grab the parts washer too, probably. I think. What do you want to do about back here? I mean. I think we got a couple wheels and tires like back here. Five good tires back here that we'll take, but other than that, this is a lot. Of yeah, stuff. I think there's some C7 wheels and tires in here we somewhere right here. But and then oh, dude, look at this gem, yeah, Ruby's this hood. Like the one outside, we don't need that where we're going. Yeah, we'll take it with us. We got those tires right yeah, there. Yeah, like four good tires back there, and then these are a lot of these are cook tires, but we just haven't had a way yeah. to dump them, so we gotta make like a dump run. We're definitely gonna make a couple dump runs, that's for sure. We got a lot of stuff. Yep, we got the tire machine and the balancer. So basically this was just our portion of the shop right here on Jeremy's side. And then the office was ours. But up here we have a bunch of junk. I'll just walk up the uh, faster prom stairs and show you what we got. There's a bunch of stuff up there. So mostly just boxes of spare parts and receipts and things like that that we'll just have to rip down. And we'll probably just forklift up, load it up. That's best part about a move though is you get to condense. You get yeah. to take everything and then you hold it in your hand and say, will I ever use this? Probably not. Yes or no, and if it's no, yeah. dumpster or so, garage sale. Yeah, we might have a little garage sale, honestly. We just have a lot of parts and stuff that we might not ever use again, like some lower horsepower level stuff. And we might get rid of it, we might keep it, I don't know. But that is gonna be our biggest project. This office is pretty cleaned out. It's just got we like fan, fan mail. mail we gotta go through and stuff. But we can do a, a video on that and then that'll be taken care yeah. of. And oh, then we just for have sure some, do a video. Some inventory. As far as, I'm sure you guys are wondering, is Jeremy staying here? And yes, they are staying here. This was a five year lease. So it's been three and a half years for this side. And then my side was only a two year lease, but there is like, so obviously there's a year and a half left. So Jeremy will be staying here until the end of the lease. We'll just be continuing to pay him our lease amount. That's for this side at least. The other side, she's done. So other than that, I mean, someone will probably come through and lease that side. I have no idea what they'll do with it. I think the whole building's going up for lease. The whole building, yeah. yeah I, don't, I don't know exactly if they're extending or not, but basically since our contract is up and I was able to find a new shop, which is super sick, we were uh, we just decided to hit the road and start paying for our own building versus paying someone else for their building. Other than that, is there anything else? I mean, shoot. We forgot prize possession. Oh yeah, we got to move, Chief. 
Chiefs has some electrical issues. Oh, what about your Camaro? Dude, it's coming. <laughs> I gotta move that too. What a turd. Thing is a unit. We haven't even talked about that on the channel, so that's just a short list of all the things you have to move. Wanted to give you guys a quick update on that. And uh we'll be down in Bradenton showing you the new shop, hopefully by the end of next week. If all goes well, because there was a guy there and he's gotta move out. Well, he's supposed to give us keys today. Not sure, I gotta drive back down there and see what the status is, but I'm freaking fired up. I don't know if you guys realize, you know, this is our workspace every single day. So it's a big deal for us. And we're very excited to now be driving about five minutes to work every day versus driving two hours to and from work every day. It's a lot of driving. Oh, well, that is ours. So like painting walls, making like permanent Improvements, fixtures, yeah. like tables that don't move and stuff like that for welding and improvements actual, actually go into our own pocket yeah, exactly it's things that make our work day easier that we don't have to worry about someone else you know moving in after us and yeah. taking over you know it's ours yep so ty's gotta get back to welding guys i gotta end off the video thanks for watching do it for dale we'll freaking see you later